On the last legislative day of the week, lawmakers converge for the business of the day, resolving among other things to launch full investigation into the failure of previous administrations to float the Mambilla Power Project in a motion moved by Senator Haruna Manu. With its capacity to generate 3,050 megawatts and reposition the Ajakoto steel complex with 1.7 billion dollars makes it a priority project of national importance. Worried that the volume of contradictory information about the project might hinder the actualization of the good objectives and the, and the benefits it brings to the good people of Nigeria. Not even an inch of the road that will take you to the Mambila has been constructed. So this project, if it must ever be executed, it has to have the special blessing and commitment of Mr. President himself. It's one subject the lawmakers are not only enthused about, but share common disenchantment. It is Nigeria lawyers and government officials in the Ministry of Justice over the years, they always enter into an agreement that disabled the country to the benefit of private investors who pay a peanut for admit to be awarded in a way that Nigeria is in trouble. 100 megawatts are more than enough to virtually each and every state in Nigeria. And in one place, you can mobilize and generate 3,000 megawatts. And yet, over the years, we've been playing politics with this. Mr. President, something is wrong with us. The upper chamber equally resolved that in reviving the project, the original plan of 3,000 megawatts capacity be maintained. Separately, the report of a bill seeking to establish the North Central Development Commission is presented for consideration and passage. The bill, which was read for the second time in February 2024, was first sponsored by Senator Abba Moore in the 9th Senate, but failed to get presidential assent. North Central Development Commission as a catalyst to develop the areas of potentials of the North Central, as well as address the gap in infrastructure development of the region and for related matters 2024 third reading taken and passed. Lawmakers also passed for second reading a bill sponsored by Senator Adiola Olamileko seeking to amend the National Railway Corporation Act to include insurance fee to offer compensation to passengers in case of accidents, injuries or death. From the National Assembly, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.